There's still a lot of vibrations. One of the motors is not responding. We have changed the motors on the spot, but the problem persists. Ready in 3, 2, 1, take off. In 2018, we had one project with one of our industry partners to develop a drones that can autonomously patrol their factory. We have a thinking that why not we use a drone similar to what we have delivered um, to be patrolling around the campus. I actually lead a group of students for a competition in Kanazawa, Japan. They ask students to design a parcel delivering drones throughout the seven days of competitions. They actually achieve as a champions. I am very proud of them. My name is Adam. I major in electrical and electronic engineering. I'm mostly handling the source code, source program for the drone. I met Ejin at my first semester of studies, actually. We started to work on more group projects until Adam uh, talked to Dr. Pang about uh, his research. They needed a hands-on hands person. Uh. In School of Engineering in Taylor's, we would really want the students to work on actual um, engineering projects. I think it would be very helpful to give the experience to the students to ap apply what they have learned in their classrooms to the actual engineering problem. Can you roll the drone now, sideways? Throttle up, down, again up, down. I think in the future, it must include some of the AI components in it. For example, face recognition, autonomous object tracking. I would think that that is the future of drone. The best experience I had in Taylor's University was actually the interactions with the students. Without this project, I don't think I would have been able to have such a casual way of interacting with a lecturer. I think it's something oh, students don't normally do, so I think this project provided me that unique experience. Alright, prepare to take off. Ready in 3, 2, 1, take off. Uh, it's a bit windy today, but the drone is working fine. Yeah. I would think that for persons to be successful, he will need to be willing to learn. If I think that the failure is something that we can take, I will actually not tell the students, but let him experience the failure and then ask him to find out what is the cause of this failure. Everything that's tough is something very useful. That's why we need to learn it, jump through the obstacle, go through it. As long as you keep the strict standard of what you learn, to be clear about what you learn, I think that will really set you apart from the rest. This environment is what Taylor Sphere is all about.